before uh, lockdown, I used to go for the school as a teacher. I'm a kindergarten teacher because I love to be with the kids. So I lost my job. Uh, I know failures. I know problems. Deep in my mind, I have said that whatever comes tomorrow, okay, no problem. I will take it aramze. I will take it coolly. I'm relaxed. Change is only the constant. I know cooking is my strength. Why can't I take up cooking as a full-time job? Together we practice yoga. It should be great. Sir, medicine to the mind. Teachers, influence is beyond. Now we're doing namaste. One minute of silence. Be grateful. Digestion starts from the mouth. There's also eco-friendly. Everything has a story. You want to listen? This is the Atha Yoga Podcast. I'm your host, Vaishak. On this series, I'll take you on a yogic journey. We'll hear from everyday people like you and me who have applied yoga to their lives to do extraordinary things. Today, I have Srimati Kavya Sumanth. Kavya ji is a school teacher, yoga instructor, chef extraordinaire, entrepreneur and a mother. She runs a small food startup called Nefty Kitchens in Mysore which aims to get good, healthy food to your home. But don't let the word small fool you. Today, Nefti is one of the fastest growing cloud kitchens and Kavya Ji's ambitions are anything but small. But to get started, you must keep your ambition aside and start by solving a problem. And boy, Kavya Ji had a problem to solve, all right. So, actually, at home, we have our grandpa. Yeah. So we are facing the challenges like to prepare very soft food for him. Wait. Notice how there is a pressing problem Kavya ji needed to solve. Every time she encounters a new problem, you'll hear this sound. So actually at home we have our grandpa. So we are facing the challenges like to prepare very soft food for him. We use the entire lockdown time to get into the fitness. Before that, Satvik, I never prepared Satvik food. I never eaten Satvik food. All of a sudden, it's come up. I started with the smoothie because Satvik smoothies are ultimate as meal replacement. So, Aram say, you can take the food and eat. In my family, someone is intolerant with the lactose. So, he used to uh, took medicines for 10 years the antibiotics and all because of the small acne. I did a lot of experiment. We completely stopped dairy, completely stopped maida, completely stopped sugar. So we changed the oil, we changed the salt, we changed the milk, everything. I switched from refined oil to coconut oil completely the creams and all, whatever it is, it's all went to the dustbin and we applied complete coconut oil. And I used to make a curd using the green chilies. So according to Satvik, actually, the green chilies are living one. So I learned and I have tried many of the Satvik foods and all, Satvik recipes, everything. How different is the Satvik diet from the currently trending fat diets? And why should one opt for Satvik diet over them? What are the disciplines are expected to be followed while following a Satvik diet? That was my friend, Mercy Sharon de Cruz. She is a dietitian currently working with a hospital in Mumbai. Dietitians like her see a lot of patients suffering from clinical health problems that can be remedied with the help of a well-tailored diet plan. So, how can Satvik food help? So, how to eat and when to eat is the question. What people will think is, uh, diet means fasting. We have to give up some food. Oh, no. That's not the diet at all, actually. But how to eat, when to eat, what to eat, that is the main question mark. So, example, fruits. People usually eat fruits after the food. But the yogis, what they will do, they used to eat fruits before the food. And they will give certain one hour or two hours gap within the. Then they used to eat very fresh food, uh, like a pan to plate. 
they include uh, more of vegetables and the fruits in their diet. That is rich in uh, nutritious and rich in all uh, vitamins and whatever the body requires, all those things. Once the food has prepared, it has to be eaten before three hours. Suppose we have prepared the food by one o'clock, it has to finish by four. And uh, most of the yogis will eat only two times a day. They will not eat after the sunset. The logic is uh, inside the stomach, the Agni, Chattar Agni we used to call. So that is actually uh, low years after the sunset. So uh, it takes longer time to digest whatever you eat. The complete time after 11 to till morning breakfast, it's a healing time. Again, in that question, how to eat the food. If you're looking to mobile and eating, we don't know how much we have eaten, how we have eaten, nothing. We have to eat in certain way that we have to sit comfortably first. We have to chew it very, very, very slowly. The yogis will do arams, they will take 20 minutes complete. They will sit silently and they will have their food. Digestion starts from the mouth, not in the stomach. We have to eat mindfully. Whatever you eat, Eat mindfully. If you're enjoying this episode so far, make sure to follow, like, subscribe, share, upvote, post. Typical. Typical. Let's not do typical here. This is a different show. Just do me a small favor, all right? If you love the podcast so far, why don't you share the love? Tell one of your friends who has not listened yet what you loved about today's show. All right? I shall be immensely grateful. Namaste. We started with the smoothie because Satvik smoothies are ultimate as meal replacement. So I thought, uh, why can't we introduce this in the online platform? So I used to make smoothies and everything and I have to send it and on. So by that time, actually, I didn't get much response because many of the people doesn't know about Satvik food and the smoothies uh, as of my knowledge in Mysore. Not even three or four orders in a month. So then I thought of, no, in this moti only we cannot enter the market. So we need to penetrate in some other way. Then I added watermelon juice. We come up with the uh, Korean technology one, slow pressing blender for making the juice. And we realized nobody will order only for the watermelon juice. Because they need some other food. After the food, they will drink watermelon or before the food. So, uh, again, experimenting, experimenting, experimenting. So, then all of a sudden, the bread rasam has came up. Rasam, a thin, very spicy southern Indian soup served with other dishes, typically as a drink. So, my husband studied in Vidya Shala in high school days. So there it's used to uh, give it uh, as a snack every day. The bread, chutney and the rasam. So we decided, okay, why can't we try the bread rasam? It's also very unique. Nobody will get in mind. So nobody is uh, aware of this bread and rasam comboids. So we did testing with our friends, family members and everything. Even they are very, 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 for the first time they have tasted and they have given very good feedback. So it's uh, fantastic and it's uh, it's working fine. But many a times I got a call from the customer side. Now, why only the bread rasam? If I want to eat something, the bread rasam is not enough for me. Again, I need to order some food. Ma'am, can you add this? Can you add this? Uh, only with the smoothies or with the uh, bread rasam, we can't survive and we can't run the show. So, we need to add some other stuffs in the menu like that. We have decided. And we have added the staple food like idlis. Idli. So, because uh, everybody wants idli in the morning, but uh, everywhere it's like uh, ready-made, uh, uh, what is rava mixed. So, we thought of that, why can't we do it as a home type, or very homely cook food like that. Have you ever considered starting your own company? I know I have. As entrepreneurs, we hear a lot of advice being of thrown at us. You do. It work. That's how you get it. But Kavya ji likes to keep it simple. She kept solving practical problems. If you're an entrepreneur, listen carefully to what she's about to say next. Uh, they have to face the challenges 
and they have to change according to the situations they have to adapt very quickly and apart from all those things they have to go and talk with the people they have to interview the people then only we can understand the pulse of the people we have to do what people want not what the startup want so there we have to take their feedback we have to work on that then we have to give shape to our idea and we have to go after you're done listening you can find links resources and additional information in the show notes or on our instagram page athayoga.podcast that is a t h a y o g a dot podcast p o d c a s t so far this whole story sounds like your typical entrepreneur struggle but today nifty is one of the fastest growing startups in mysore something isn't adding up in order for nifty to grow so fast it needed to be loved by its customers and to make someone fall in love you need to be alive so who is putting life into nifty so kavya ji a rapid fire yeah. okay what's your favorite satvik food satvik food yes a satvik salads all right yeah Rats- the vegetables rasik rasik it's sir uh, of everything in that ticket acha <laughs> all of the rajas we served tamsik tamsik it's completely <laughs> i don't want to tamsik uh, i'm sure everybody has a has a favorite tamsik pani puri i love pani puri <laughs> that was lavina ji from the previous episode back on popular request so kavya ji's love for satvik food makes her cook for her customers with that love but that is only part of a much bigger story there had to be a yogic connection so i decided to probe deeper sit back relax and let me take you on a yogic journey mine is a very remote village actually so in school days in my school days they will come to teach yoga as a camp and also 15 days or one week so me and my father but by, by that time we will attend yoga classes for week or the 15 days in my college days i went to shantivana it's near dharmasthala there i went and i learned little yoga uh, why i went is i have a sciatic thing so because of that i went there so there i learned little asana for that and some food habits and some massaging techniques so i used to do it for my family the massage during lockdown time so i went and joined yoga darshanam in mysore and i learned some asanas and everything there's 200 hours early morning uh, 6 to 7 i used to take the classes by that time so i started teaching to my son come no school is nothing then i started doing with him and my family members added to that so like that then yoga started yes because lockdown no even offices are not there schools are not there everybody uh, at home only everyone are at home only so we have to invest our time on our health as i used to practice yoga my mind started changing and i the normal food and everything i started a sort of organic thing came into my mind i was conscious about having the normal food would decay or it would be a health issue i, I just started tea powder business uh, that business can't be sustained without adding synthetics or chemicals so that research made me end up with the ayurvedic clothing as i do yoga every day so I, we also thought uh, many people across the globe are doing yoga so it would help them also rather than giving them a ayur vastra just if i would give them a yoga mat that was monish mohan like kavya ji monish's yogic journey and embrace of satvik food also led him to start a company but monish's startup is unique he sells ayurvedic yoga mats what's that all about next episode Kavya ji's experience as a yoga teacher and her experiments with satvik recipes at home may have helped her with some ideas given her perspective 
and helped her through the hard times but like i said to make someone fall in love you have to add life you have to make it magical and i saw that magic and fell in love at first sight when i first ordered from nifty on that package i saw a little handwritten note that said dear thank you for ordering with us happiness lies first of all in health health is wealth love to cook team nifty we have to thank the work customers what what is the best possible way to thank them so this thank you note came up idea usually before we started just saying the good morning and good afternoon like that thank you for ordering then we came up with a little small quotes in that if we write the same thing people will get bored and we started like only in the national festival day the wishes and all as father's day or the mother's day or the valentines day like that it will come up happy birthday later we realized only not for the day special day every day the note has to be changed before once uh, in the month of february only me and uh, the one employee one staff is there so by that time i used to wake up by 4 o'clock and i used to sit and write the notes up to 6 o'clock then i used to start working in the kitchen two college interns are there the one is uh, she sit and writes the note जब भी हमारे कस्टमर थैंक यू नोट पढ़े तो उनके दिल को छू जाए और पढ़ते समय ऑटोमेटिक उनके फेस पे स्माइल आ जाए दैट वॉज द गर्ल हु राइट्स द नोट्स इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड वेर एवरी थिंग इज अ कमोडिटी वन ऑफ द ओनली थिंग्स यू कान बाय इज जेन्युन कनेक्शन काव्य जी क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द ह्यूमन टच Every episode I'll take one simple yogic technique that you can practice at home. Are you someone like Kavya ji? Do you have high ambition and want to take the world head on? Do you want to hold your own, strengthen your resolve and be rock solid with your decisions? In other words, do you wish to be like a mountain? Today we'll do the parvatasana, the mountain pose. Apart from everything I just said this asana will also help you correct your sitting posture and help you be more strong and stable when sitting for meditation Before starting make sure you're in a comfortable place and that you're not doing anything else If you have frozen shoulders or arthritis of the knees or any issue at all sitting cross legged on the ground for longer periods skip this section entirely Sthiram Sukham Asanam Sit down on your mat in either Sukhasana or Padmasana Keep your hands by your side palms facing upwards Sit straight focus on a point in front of you and gently take your palms upwards and join them together in Namaste do a little yes and no with your head just nod like we usually do if you can't then your neck is stiff loosen your shoulders a bit there's no need to stretch your hands remember the top of the mountain is soft and snowy it's the base which is strong tight and grounded so keep your back straight and feel your legs tighten up as you feel rock solid in your core gently close your eyes you can hold this pose following my instructions or release if your hands are tired and gradually extend your hold in further sessions notice your breath the cool breath in the warm breath out inhale and exhale slowly begin noticing the little tension in your body as it tries to sit strong breathe this agitation out and imagine that your entire lower body 
is like a piece of rock firmly on the ground one with mother earth correct your posture every now and then an unshakable feel it in your bones in your mind and in every fiber of your being whenever you feel like it release your hands with a gentle backward rotation rub your palms and cup your eyes open your eyes in the darkness of your palms and slowly bring your palms down this asana section is dedicated to my friend jinal dingwa you know her from the last episode holding this asana for just 5 minutes has added to my life enormously thank you jinal for showing me how strong one can be if one holds it for 30 minutes it wasn't just nefty's handwritten notes that added the magic no matter how good your packaging is no matter how much you wrap yourself with the latest fashion blanket no matter how hard you try If what is inside that package is not good, if what you truly offer is not genuine, then you'll not be loved. And Nefty's food was sweet, pure, and delicious. I could sense that it was made with a lot of love. But how? When I walked into their kitchen, I got the answer. In my kitchen only, no men are there. All female staff went to one Brahma Kumari Samaja. they are all uh, females so how nicely they are preparing food with love and with full complete silence why that silence is to focus we have full complete positive vibrations inside the kitchen because we are thinking the kitchen as a temple we have to do it in such a way that every day how the uh, for the god how the abhishekam or the pujas will go like that only we have to maintain our kitchen everything is properly set because to get the positive vibes in the food so it's like uh, it's completely like a uh, homely feeling here they will adjust each other they will cooperate each other they are doing their best we are doing it from the heart because we have mother touch So how are all of these things connected her struggles her willingness to change and adapt her yogic journey the human touch and devotion how do you make people fall in love the secret connecting all of this kavya ji was just expressing herself swami vivekananda says all power is within you you can do anything and everything believe in that do not believe that you are weak stand up and express the divinity within you like a flower which unfolds when you express yourself and spread your fragrance people fall in love with you and join you in your journey i have elderly people also to prepare food along with me uh, people will not believe if i say the lady used to call me in 5:30 did you left your home can i come and join with you Every day we come together. We are here every day by six o'clock. We maintain one minute of silence. Only we do. Then we'll switch on the gas and everything. As I end this conversation in Nefty's little kitchen, Kavya Ji's husband and son drive over and come to pick her up. And at that moment, I recall something that she said. During the COVID lockdown, with everyone at home, she would make satvik food. Her husband, son, the grandfather, and the entire family would come together on the dining table and eat together. And for this humble housewife, this family moment is all that was needed. Music for the opening sequence 
by my brother Ritwik Srikumar. This episode is dedicated to all the housewives, mothers, and women with ambition. In the Gherenda Samhita, it is said, "Shuddham sumadhuram snigdham, udarartha vivarjitam, bhujyate surasam pritya, mitaharam imam viduhu." Pure, sweet, and cooling food should be eaten to fill half the stomach. Eating thus sweet juices with pleasure. and leaving the other half of the stomach empty is called mitahar or moderation in diet there is a difference between the food that you can buy and the food that is made for you with love when someone makes something for you with a motherly touch it is pure and sweet thank you so much to all the women who tirelessly work every day without rest or recognition only when you stay away from home do you realize the value of your mother's food the least we can do is appreciate them thank you so much amma i'm vaishak thanks for listening and as always everything happens at the right time and we are all here for a reason together let's find it out